Welcome back for the 23rd episode of Cat's Melting Point and my third week with the Bomb Squad. Yeah, I'm sitting here in a cap because today's topic is hair. Usually I like to keep it moving, but today I feel the need to just sit and talk to you all. As you can hear, Tevin Campbell in the background, can we talk? So, I'm going to go rest this out, and then we need to talk. <laughs> Alright, see you in a minute. Hey, and welcome back. I've rinsed out my hair, and I'm ready to talk. I'm setting my timer because I don't want to go over time because I am feeling the need to simply rant today for my 23rd episode of Cat's Melting Point and my third episode with the Bomb Squad. <sighs> hair. Why am I talking about hair during a fitness melting point show? They don't talk about hair on The Biggest Loser, I bet. You know why? Because the sisters on that show don't bring it up. <laughs> you know, if you are a woman of color, particularly of African descent, hair goes hand in hand with fitness. What we are willing to do, what we are, I say self-imposed, limited to do, because of our hair. I know India Ivory sings that I am not my hair and I understand the point she's trying to make. But it's funny when I think about my hair, as I'm going through all of these different products to try to figure out what's going to make my hair look the way I would want it to look, what's going to make my hair look most pleasing or fly or beautiful or whatever adjective you want to use. I am my hair because my hair is made up of all of the different cultures that came together to make me. And it used to frustrate me. It was like the Americas were having a fight on my head because I am the great American story. I've been mistaken for many cultures, but I am African American, black, yeah, formerly Negro, formerly colored. Yeah, that's me. Possibly quadroon, depending on what era I would have been raised in, because my father's family is definitely African and Native American. We even have pictures of the Native American great great grandmother that we know of, and my mother's side of the family is definitely the European African mix. Probably also Native American but definitely African because of the the features and the color spectrum. Our family goes from one spectrum, end of the spectrum, to the other. I have family members who could probably pass for European and I have family members who could probably pass for a straight African like they may have just flown over here recently. So yes, I am the American story. <laughs> I told you I was going to ramble during this episode. So the reason this all came about, me talking about hair during a fitness show, is it's been a hot weekend for me. So hot I've literally been in 
a room of a hundred plus degrees because I just started Bikram this weekend. I've gone to two Bikram classes and I feel like I should already be a size 10 because it was hot up in there. Goodness. <laughs> but you know what? It, I see how people say it's addictive because you just can't you can't stop. So I'll be going back. Maybe not every day, but definitely several times a week. The challenge is just stay in the room. That is the biggest challenge. That's what they tell you. Your goal is to just stay in the room as a beginner. My goal was to just stay conscious because there were a couple of postures I thought I was going to pass out and you have to drink so much water I thought I was going to be in need of <laughs> an adult pamper but I sweated it all out I couldn't believe it it's amazing definitely have to try it if you don't have any health conditions that prevent you from being in a room of a hundred plus degrees and with all of the different bodies in there I'm sure it got close to 150 I don't know it was just hot <laughs> I don't think I'll ever complain again about a hot summer day because I can take it I am woman Hear me roar. <laughs> so in addition to it being hot in the big room classes, I bought these hot shoes. I was so excited. I don't know. Can you see them? See, I can do that stretch now because of big room. <laughs> um, I wasn't even looking for shoes. I was looking for a pair of flip-flops because Friday it was much warmer than I thought it would be and I needed my feet to breathe but these hot shoes jumped out at me instead. So that was hot and then Sunday night every third Sunday it was the third Sunday the hottest comedy show on earth. Royale Watkins and Anthony Anderson's mixtape comedy here in New York at the Gotham Comedy Club. Once again, it was hot. I love that show. <laughs> it's like being in a live box of Cracker Jacks because you never know who's going to show up. You never know what comedians. You know they're going to be funny because they all have been hot. Yeah,